Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I hope y'all are doing well. We're doing another video lesson this week since we can't be at church. Um, and before we start, I'm going to get Mr. Mike to open us up in a word of prayer. Let's pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, and we thank you for the many wonderful blessings that you give us. We ask you to be with uh, the lesson we're sharing this morning, be with each every boy girl that uh, looks at this lesson, Lord, and just... Uh, we look forward to the time that we can be together again, but be with this and bless us as we're doing these video lessons. Uh, be with us as we go through it and just uh, let your name be glorified and lifted up. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Today we're going to start with our key verse. Usually we get into that later in our lesson, but today we're going to start with us with it. And our key verse today is from the book of Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. And it says, be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ, God forgave you. And so what we're learning today is that God sent Jesus to show us what it means to love others. And our main point for today is that Jesus says to love others as we love ourselves. So when you hear that, you might think, well, of course I love other people. I want to love other people. But loving other people isn't always easy. Sometimes people are unkind. Sometimes they're just mean to us. Sometimes they bully us. Sometimes they're thoughtless. And people like that are hard to love. And so we've all probably said when we've heard to be kind and love that person, we probably all said, not me whenever somebody says to love somebody. And maybe when somebody else is told that they should love us, maybe they've said, not me, and they didn't want to show us love and care. So think about, have you ever known somebody who has said, not me, when they were told that they should love you? Or has there ever been somebody that you've been asked to love and you said, not me, and you don't want to love them. When our Bible story today, Jesus tells a story about people who had the not me's. Our Bible story is in Luke 10, verses 25 through 37. So we're going to open up our Bibles and uh, go through the story. So a man came to Jesus. And he thought he understood most of the scripture. He thought he understood most of God's word. But he had some questions for Jesus. The man asked Jesus what he needed to do to live forever in heaven. Jesus knew the man already knew the answers. He had studied the scripture so he knew what they said. So Jesus, instead of just quoting the scripture back to him, asked the man, what do you think that means? So the man said the following words. And I'm going to do it with some motions, and so y'all can try to do these motions at home. And I'll show it to you. It says, love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself. And I'm going to do that one more time. Let's try it one more time so y'all can do it with us this and time. And I'll repeat it when you watch the video. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and all your strength and all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself. So Jesus told the man that he was right when he said those things. And if he could do those things, then he would have life forever in heaven. But the man had another question. He asked Jesus, and who is my neighbor that I'm supposed to love? That's when Jesus told the story of the people who had the not me's and the man who was a good Samaritan. Jesus told about a man who was traveling down a road when some bad people beat him up and they took all his money. The man needed help. Pretty soon, a priest, an important man who taught others about God, walked by the hurting man lying on the side of the road. But he did not stop to help man, no, because the priests had the not me's. 
And so the man was left there on the side of the road because the priest went away and he didn't want to help. But soon another person came walking by and he saw the man lying on the side of the road. But did he stop and help that man? No, because guess what? He also had the not me's. And so the man was still left there on the side of the road. No one would help him. But then a Samaritan, a person from a place called Samaria, came by and saw the hurt man lying on the side of the road. Do you think he stopped to help? Well, yes, he did. Because he was a I will kind of guy, which means when somebody needed help, he said, I will. Y'all all say that right at home right now. I will. I will. Jesus says to love others as we love ourselves. The Samaritan man took the man who had been beaten up and was hurt on the side of the road. He took him to an inn, which is like a hotel. Y'all heard of Holiday Inn? Well, an inn is like a hotel. And when the Samaritan man had to leave, he paid somebody else to take care of the man who was hurt. The Samaritan man was an I will kind of man. Jesus wants us to be I will people and to help others when they need our help. And one thing that we're going to post online is our My Bible Fun page for today. And I don't know if you can see it, but you'll see the picture online. And if you have a way to print it out, I hope that you will. But our My Bible Fun page has these band-aids on it. And on the band-aids, what I want you to do is write on each one the name of one person that you can show God's love to. And then write one way you can show God's love to that person. So, for example, maybe you want to write your mom or dad's name on there. And then write maybe a chore that you can do at home that will help them out. And talk with your parents about ways you can encourage others and think of ways that y'all can help others as a family or you as individuals with these uh, band-aids. You can do things such as video chatting with lonely friends and family now that we're apart for this time period, making cards to send to people, or donating to charities in the, our area. Uh, some church members of, that we have are making face masks for local hospitals, and maybe your family can help make some of those. So tell about a time when you get together with your family. Tell about a time when you were hurt and somebody helped you. And maybe you hurt your knee or maybe somebody hurt your feelings and somebody helped you. And you can also talk about a time when maybe somebody else was hurt or somebody else had their feelings hurt and you helped that person. And think about this and discuss it with your families. Why do you think it's important to love others when they're hurt? The Good Samaritan cared for others just as the Bible tells us to. Jesus also cares for others. He helps people who are hurt or sad. He never says, not me. When someone needs his help, Jesus helps all of us be I will people too. Jesus said to love others as ourselves and let's go out or live our lives in such a way that we try to do that. Uh, we look forward to seeing y'all again in the future. We miss being with you, but we're going to keep on doing these videos until such a time we can meet again. And I'm going to close us in prayer now. Let's pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. And we thank you for the many wonderful blessings you give us. We do ask that you be with our church, Lord, even though we can't meet, we can communicate with uh, social media. And we're thankful for Pastor Charlie sharing sermons online and we'll be able to share Sunday school lessons online and our Wednesday night meetings online. And just thank you for the blessing, the technology to be able to do that, Lord. We do ask that you be with all those leading our country and the decisions that are being made to keep people safe and be with all the police officers, the hospital workers, and everybody that is dealing with the situation we're in. Please be with the students who's away from their friends from school and help them doing their school work at home. It's a different way of doing things. Give them the uh, wisdom and the um, knowledge to be able to do their classwork and help their families working through that as well. Be with us as we go through the rest of this week, Lord. Help us to live in such a way that we give honor and glory to you. It's in the sweet name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. Goodbye. Bye. Hopefully we'll see you next week.